Hello, welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today we're gonna to make an aloe vera soap using this fragrance from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It's called Rainforest. It got smudged, I had to write it in. <laughs> Forgive my messy handwriting, but Rainforest. I have soaked with this fragrance before. It soaps beautifully, it behaves like a dream, and it smells really good. Let me read you the scent description here. Um, okay, uh, sophisticated fragrance has the aroma of sweet citrus, um, Blooming jasmine and blonde woods. Uh, the enchanting smell of an exotic rainforest. <laughs> I love scent descriptions. They're so fun with words, but that's what this smells like, uh, I guess. <laughs> I, ha I have actually never been to the rainforest. I don't know what the rainforest smells like, but this fragrance smells awesome. So let's talk about the colors that we're gonna use today. Rainforest makes me think of watery, green, I don't know, just made me think of water and green jungly things. So I will be using my Azure Blue, Azure Blue, Azure Zur, however you say it, from Wholesale Supplies Plus, which is gorgeous. And however you say it, it's still gorgeous. And my Aqua Pearl from Brambleberry. Aren't those beautiful? So I haven't decided, I think I'm just gonna do a really swirly hanger swirl in the body. And I might do a chevron top, depending you know, on how things are going. And um, I just think with those colors, it might look really beautiful. We'll see when we get there. Um, so I haven't totally decided on a chevron top or not. I might just scoop it, but all that being said, <laughs> I said it's gonna be an aloe vera soap and it is, and I'm gonna get everything pulled together. And let's come back and make some rainforest inspired aloe vera soap. All right, it's soap additives time. I already have the fragrance in here because I have worked with it before. Soaps really well. And I wanna show you, I added a third color, but it's actually a color combo. I did a combo of this turquoise green mica from Be Scented, and I added a little touch of this, let me see, jungle green from Workshop Heritage to create this sort of greenish blue. So I just, I wanted to put a third color in there for some reason, I don't know, I just wanted to do it. So soap additives, the aloe vera juice is what the lye mixture is made out of. So in the body of the oils here, I'm gonna do my colloidal oats and my kale and clay, two tablespoons of each. And we'll get these blended in and let them anchor in with the fragrance. And then we will get moving forward with those gorgeous colors. I'm so excited to see those colors in here. <laughs> All right, let's get moving forward. It's time to add the aloe vera lye solution, and this has cane sugar, tussa silk, and sodium lactate in it. And I'm gonna strain it through my strainer because I made this last night and it's got a little bit of lye lint going on, and I just don't want that little chunkage in my soap. So we'll just run it through here to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I am just gonna get up to emulsion and split off for those colors.
next day and it's been about 24 hours. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Um, I'm so happy with the colors and the stripes. Loving it. I did cover this. It went through gel phase last night. So I'm very anxious to get in here and see. Of course, I did that drop swirl and then I just put my hanger back and forth. So I'm curious to see the inside of this. So let's get it out of the mold and see what we've got going on the inside. I'm back with the lovely Olga and hey this soap kind of color coordinates with her <laughs> you can just distinctly pick out the three different colors that I put in there it's very close but I'm loving that I added that third color you can see it on top here so happy with these and I'm anxious to see how that sideways hanger swirl came out so let's cut into these and see they smell so nice and fresh Again, I don't know what a rainforest smells like. I've never been there. Gosh, wouldn't it be neat to go? Um, but wow. Oh, man. These are so pretty. Anyway, they just smell really beautiful. They have notes of ozone and fresh. I just, oh, man, these are nice. And I think we're going to get a swirly pattern. Let's go ahead and try it, right? You know I've got to. Come on now. Oh, butterfly. I'm thrilled. These came out better than expected. I'm a happy camper. Wow. Oh, I hope you love it too. So pretty. It kind of looks like peacock colors, right? Like when they fan their tails out. Isn't that gorgeous? Those are making me smile. I hope these bring a smile to your face too. All right, let me keep cutting. All right, here's the middle loaf. So fun. Oh, my. Sometimes, whoops, got a little piece of soap on there. There we go. Sometimes soap making is just, well, it always, for me, soap making is such a joy. I just enjoy it. It's, to me, it's therapeutic. It's fun. It's creative. It's all of those things for me. It's an outlet for creativity and all that and I just love it but sometimes it's especially joyful and I'm finding this very <laughs> very satisfying I'm loving these swirls that sideways mm. love 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 oh wow so fun all right well I am going to keep cutting these get ready to do the beveling and stamping and i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy it please consider hitting the like button and subscribe and that bell for notifications so you don't miss anything going on in the shop and i just really appreciate you spending time with me today thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day